Hello there. My name's Anne-Marie Powell and I'm a garden designer based in Hampshire. And this year, like you, I'll be missing Chelsea. For me, it's the first time since 1997. But lucky for me, I've got so many happy memories of Chelsea, just tucked all the way around my garden. And just as you walk down the path on our lane, it's the first memory that really hits me here. So back in 2016, the RHS invited me to build a show garden exhibit for them, celebrating all that's great about front gardens. They're wonderful for our health, happiness and well-being. So we decided to just take out the grass from the front garden slope and fill it up with my favourite plants from that show. So last October, we planted tonnes of ferns, lots of ivy, a sort of backbone of Euphorbia robii and threaded through things like Telema and Tiarella and Narcissus talia and Tulipa green star. And I have to say, I've so enjoyed in lockdown watching passers-by as they go past and it brings a little smile to their face and people have been so generous with their compliments and I've just loved seeing them enjoy it. Loads more things in our garden to remind us of Chelsea so come on in and I'll show you around. During lockdown the majority of our efforts here have been spent on the rear garden we had a lot of building work so it's been so neglected over the last two years and we've pretty much started here from scratch. There are so many Chelsea memories for me here. Just look at the six Sorbisaria lutescen trees that kind of flank the garden on both sides, three on each side. And they're a memory of, for me of my very first Chelsea garden back in 1997, where I helped Lady Zart Hallimash build her garden for the Evening Standard. I was supposed to stay there for a day, but ended up staying there for a week. And that was my first taste of the wonder of Chelsea. Now, during lockdown, I have to say, this garden has been my saviour. I feel so fortunate to have it. We've worked really hard reshaping our rounded lawn, digging and weeding, and we've completely replanted the bottom garden area. I've even started growing some veg. So the carrots are in, we've got some radish, some beetroot and some Swiss chard there. And we've sown a little bit of a meadow at the head of the, of the lawn. And we've decided to do no mow may, no may, no may around the children's trampoline. There's been an awful lot going on here um, and we've been working hard at it. And you can see we've got so many seedlings. There's some on the floor in the kitchen there that you can just about see um, because I've been planting seed like crazy. We've got sweet corn, courgettes, um, cucumbers, basil, all sorts of things there. And just, <laughs> I'm running out of tomato, we're running out of pots for our tomato seedlings, so we had to resort to using tin cans. So I feel extraordinarily grateful for all of this garden space. It's really kept me sane and busy during lockdown. And I'm determined that when I get back to working in the office, that I'm not going to give up this feeling of nurture, nature and well-being that I get from going back to grassroots and learning again about all the things that really got me into garden design in the first place. I'm going to start looking after my own garden much more regularly as I still enjoy designing other people's green spaces. So thank you for joining me and stay safe and stay home and have a wonderful virtual Chelsea.